Welcome to our lesson about multiple external references. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to use the same part in multiple assemblies and create external references. In my graphic area, there's part B. It's currently internal to this assembly. I want to use it in a different assembly. I'd like to create an external reference from both of these assemblies to this part. I've got a second assembly already open. Let's go to Window, Assembly 2. Let's display them together, Window, Tile Horizontally. First, let's deselect everything. Now hold down the Control key and drag and drop the part into Assembly 2. Release the left mouse button. Watch what happens, we get a warning. Copying a virtual component to another assembly breaks the link to the original file. Now obviously that's not what we want. Let's cancel out of this window. And let's undo. Now let's make component B an external component. Right click, save part in external file. Path, same as assembly, and click OK. Now let's save the assembly as well. Let's go to Assembly 2, Window, Assembly 2. Click on Insert Components, and let's browse for our component. Here's Part B. Let's select it, open, and drop it about here. Now let's go ahead and apply mates. Activate the Mate tool. I'll select this edge and this edge, and apply a coincident mate. Accept. Let's select this face, this face, coincident mate also, accept. Lastly, this face and this face. A distance mate. Enter a value of 40 millimeters and accept. Cancel out of the mate tool. Now let's right click on part B and list our external references. We can see that this part is linked to part A. And part A is in assembly 1. Let's cancel out of this window. Right click on part B and select edit part. And here's my warning message. We've seen this before. This part has features defined in the context of another assembly. There's the assembly name. You can edit the part, but we can't create any external references to the components of the current assembly. Let's see how we can fix this problem. Let's go to System Options and click on the External References branch. Now let's check Allow Multiple Contexts for Parts when editing in Assembly. Click OK. And let's right click on this face of Part B and insert a sketch. Deselect everything. Click on Convert Entities. And let's pick up these circular edges. If you can't get them, press down the Shift key. Let's accept, and let's exit the sketch. Features, extruded cut, end condition through all, and accept. Let's exit part editing mode and rebuild. Let's save the assembly. Save, and save all. Let's check our external references again. And let's scroll down the external references window. Now we've got references to two different components belonging to two different assemblies. And let's take a look at assembly one. Let's update. The changes were propagated to the first assembly also. A final note as a word of caution. When you're allowed to create references to one component in multiple assemblies, it can get pretty confusing, especially from the beginning. If you make changes to one assembly, in the second assembly the part can behave unexpectedly. So do keep this in mind if you're going to be working this way. And this concludes our lesson about creating multiple external references.